fresh air to breathe, clean water and food for consumption are all beautiful gifts of nature for us. However, at times, even Mother Nature turns aggressive. As a result, we have to face several natural disasters. And one such life-threatening calamity is the process of lightning. Yes, flash of light along with the furious thunder is what we experience commonly during rains. But what exactly is lightning? Scientifically, it is the discharge of electrostatic charges that occur between surfaces. That's right, lightning is nothing but the discharge of charges. Hang on, what are electrostatic charges? They are the electric charges at rest. And what are electric charges? In order to understand how lightning is caused, we first need to know what electric charges are. Well, if you haven't heard the term before, it might be a little difficult for you to understand. Hence, we will be devoting our first three lessons in understanding what an electric charge is and what we mean by discharge of an electric charge. Okay, so let us start understanding electrostatic charges with a very simple experiment. It is a very common experiment and you might have seen this in the past. Here we have a glass rod and some small pieces of paper lying on the table. Now if we bring this glass rod near the pieces of paper, nothing really happens. You wouldn't have expected anything to happen as well. Now we rub this glass rod with a silk cloth and again bring it near the pieces of paper. This time something happens. The pieces of paper stick to the surface of the rod. They are attracted to the rod. Why does this happen? Why is there attraction between the glass rod and the pieces of paper? Initially, there was no attraction between the two. Well, this attraction only came about after we rubbed the glass rod with silk. So something must have happened to the glass rod after rubbing. We say that the glass rod became charged after rubbing. In fact, not only the glass rod, but the silk cloth also becomes charged. To justify this, we bring the rubbed part of the silk cloth near these pieces of paper and we see that the pieces of paper stick to the surface of the silk as well. Here as well, there is an attraction between the two objects. When we rub any two objects, they both acquire charge. So here, after rubbing, the glass rod and the silk cloth both become charged objects. And this charge is responsible for the attraction with the pieces of paper. You can also perform this experiment using a plastic comb. Rub your plastic comb on your dry hair and bring it near the pieces of paper. Here as well, you will see attraction between the two. After the rubbing process, the comb and your hair become charged bodies. And the charged comb attracts the pieces of paper. Remember, this will only work if your hair is dry. So what did we learn here? We learned that the electric charges are developed when we rub the two objects together. These charges are static. That is, they are lying on the surface of the object and not moving. Hence, we also call them static electric charges or electrostatic charges. Do you know that there is more than one type of charge? Watch our next video to know more.